Well, welcome to our sixth demo. This one's going to be on morphophonemic rules. Uh, so what we want to do is, is uh, define a new language. Go to Utilities, select Add a Target Language, and then add a new target language. Give it some name here. Uh, and what comes up right away here is the ability to define the alphabet and the phonetic features of your language. So you, you can give it script here. And here it comes up and you can say uh, that in your language the point of articulation and the vowel height are important. Uh, you can always go back and, and, and uh, modify that later. But it, it then sets up your alphabet and for every letter it puts the usual interpretation. So like I is a high vowel, but for your language I is different, you can go back and change it to mid vowel, whatever you want to do. Uh, and of course, in here, this alphabet, you can go and add different letters, like an enya or accented words, accented uh, letters, uh, anything you want. Uh, okay, so spell out rules. This uh, morphophonemic rule is a type of spell out rule. So we go and into there, uh, you double click on nouns, you uh, give it a group name. So there's, you're going to have a group of, num of rules having to do with number and here. So you click morphophonemic rule give the, the rule some name. Uh, you'll see in this demo that we sort of messed it up, but in the end we'll get it. Uh, so I, I started out saying that if the stem was AS and you add an O, you want the stem to go to IS. It's not exactly what it ends up as, but just follow along. There's so there's speak, there's possibilities here. You can say that the stem changes, it doesn't change. You can say the suffix changes or it doesn't change. Uh, and you can see how the boxes then change given that. Uh, you can specify any of them with phonetic features, which I'll show you an example, or you can specify it with alphabetic features. So, so I start off trying to say AS plus O uh, goes to IS. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I wanted uh, the stem to change, but so let's 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 say that the the stem ended with O suffix was as we want to change the suffix to is so there it is right there uh, and that's it that's all you have to do any stem now that ends with an o followed by an os an as suffix well now the suffix will change to is uh, you can specify it with phonetic features so instead of an o you could say that the stem ended with any high vowel so here we go and you just click on the first open box and these are the features we said were important in our language so if the vowel height was high followed by as now the suffix will change to is so don't forget to add uh, topics